G'day, it's Tony from GME. In this episode, we've got a really exciting update for you for our XRS Connect range of radios, introducing shared audio. So we've had a lot of feedback from you guys out there in regards to our Bluetooth audio connectivity on both the XRS 660 handheld and our XRS range of mobile radios utilizing the BT-1 Bluetooth audio module. And it's specifically from a lot of you guys who ride motorbikes and have helmets with a Bluetooth communicator already installed. Now, the XRS Bluetooth audio function enables you to connect your Bluetooth audio XRS into your Bluetooth connection on your helmet. But the problem that you guys highlighted to us is that it was a single point connection. So if you already had, for example, your Senna or your Cardo headset connected to your mobile phone and you were listening to music while you were riding along, then you couldn't connect that same Senna to your XRS radio or vice versa. If you were connected to your radio, you couldn't listen to your music or your turn by turn navigation on Google Maps. This is where shared audio comes in. So now, if your Bluetooth headset has the capability of managing multiple Bluetooth connections, the shared audio update on XRS will enable the headset to decide when it receives the transmissions from your radio and when you're listening to your music. So there's three different options for you to choose from. You can have shared audio turned off, in which case the radio when connected to the Bluetooth headset will perform as it does currently. So you'll just have that one-to-one -one connection. If, however, you'd like to have your radio connected to your headset and your headset connected to your phone, in the example I provided, if you wanna be listening to music, you can have shared audio turned on. Now, what this will do is this will prioritize any transmission received via your radio. So it will cut the audio from, for example, Spotify or Google Maps, and every time you receive a transmission on your radio, it'll come through your headset. Now, that can be a little bit frustrating if, for example, you're on a phone call and you don't want the radio cutting your phone call out so you can hear the transmission. And that's where the third option comes in, which is dual. So this is all available through the menu structure. Of course, you will need to do a firmware update on your radio to put this feature into your existing XRS radio. But if you choose the dual option for shared audio, the radio will still be connected to your headset and when you receive a transmission on the radio, it will cut in so you can hear what's being received. And then after five seconds, it will revert back to the previous state for, for example, your music. However, in dual mode, if you're on the phone, the radio will not interrupt your phone call. So there's a couple of different options there. Now, the one thing that's really important to note is that there can be a little bit of latency because we're switching Bluetooth connections between the radio, the headset, and the phone. Now, most of the time, you won't even notice this. However, if you transmit on your radio, press the PTT and start talking immediately, there may be a slight miss at the start of that transmission. So it's worth noting when you're using this functionality to push the push to talk button for about a second, let the connection update and then start talking so that people don't miss what you're saying on the radio. We're really looking forward to you guys updating your radios with shared audio and using it in your systems. Now, of course, if you've got any feedback on further improvements that you think we should make, or if you've got any questions, drop a comment below or head to the GME website for more information.